Just start. So before we start, if you want to buy a CD now, <laughs> because once you hear us start to play, you probably will lose a bit of interest. <laughs> so, and we've got the World Tour T-shirt there. That's tenor as well. So. <laughs> All at a good price tonight. How many have seen us before? Remind me. Okay. How, how many haven't seen us before? That's it. And I couldn't give a bugger whether you've seen us before or not. Right, fine. There we are. Right. Right. We're going to start in a second. I was I, I was up the uh, I was at the sports club today, and there was a, a Django Reinhardt group, and they were really good. And I thought that's lovely in French, that is. And when the lady in there said, "They're Welsh," <laughs> the, the, hot, the hot club of Port Maddock. <laughs> Incredible. So it's really good, they were really good. Is there any, because, is there any, I could, you see, I'm half Welsh. I'm half Welsh. I'm half Welsh. I'm the father's best friend sign. Is there any, is there any ladies from Wales here tonight? Yes. Right, yes. It's gone off, it's gone off now, right, I was coming back on again. Yes, the lady over there, where? You come from Wales, here, you love? Yeah. Right, the, Wales, that's the land of the beautiful ladies and the wonderful rugby players. <laughs> what position you play, love? <laughs> we're going to start in a minute, we're going to start in a minute, but also, also, we've got, I know we've got Mr and Mrs Poole here, and their son, Sess. <laughs> so that's going to be quite enjoyable. And it's, it's nice. I mean, we've got lovely weather, haven't we, at the moment? I mean, last year, the rain was terrible, wasn't it? I mean, I know why, I think, because I had a wet dream on St. Swithin's Day. <laughs> but there we are. Anyhow, right. Right, should we start this, chaps? Right, that's, that's a pleasure.
It's a nice big crowd actually, because uh, it's, well, it helps in it really. And uh, <coughs> as I've said before, you're coming, we're all in dangerous times now, a lot of us blokes in the band, so you, obviously you want to come and see just in case one of us keels over, you know. And you say, I was at the last gig, you know. And, uh, and so I'll introduce the band to you. Each one of these blokes is a, a wonderful soloist in his own right. It's just when we play together, we have a bit of a problem sometimes. But, but can I, first of all, can I play? It's a, it's a great honour tonight that we have with us the wonderful Mr. Pete Allen on the clarinet. <laughs> There's so many things about Pete. I've had to jot down a few notes because I'd forget otherwise, you know. But, but I mean, Pete, uh, he's had his own band since 1978. He's one of Britain's great jazz clarinetists. He's, been an, he's an honorary citizen of New Orleans. <laughs> You don't get many having that, do you? And he, he, run, he, he, he's with, he plays with the Philips World Stars Jazz Band in Eindhoven and he fronts the London Paris All Stars and uh, the, he's a regular with the Riverside Jazz Band in Denmark. Tell me if I miss anything, Pete. And, uh, <laughs> and he's, led, he's led his worldwide All Stars at Sacramento in the United States. And, uh, and he's got, he's got and uh, I can't read this video. And, uh, and, He's, he, he, he fronts his own European band and the All Stars in Europe, and that. And he's played with people, millions of people, really, but people with well-known names such as Peanuts Hocko, Bud Freeman, Bob Wilbur, Marty Grouse, Billy Butterfield, Barrett Deems. I remember him in High Society. You remember that Barrett Deems? That was a long time, 1956. And uh, and Kenny Ball, who's uh, sadly no longer with us. And since 2008. Pete has presented his own radio program, so there you are. So, I, I mean, I, I don't think I'll bother introducing the rest of it, so. Which one is he? Hey? Which one is he? <laughs> in, in here. Right, and, uh, and, and on trumpet tonight we've got the most wonderful Mr. Dave Leighton. Well, I guess. Uh, Dave has played with, I mean Dave's playing with Pete Allen's band, so he's half he's of them, or well, two thirds of their front line tonight, so that's on Pete's front line tonight, so there we are, right. But he's played alongside Billy Butterfield, Warren Vatch, Al Fairweather, Barney Kessel, oh he's a good guitar player he was, uh, and Slim Galliard, Bruce Turner and Humphrey Littleton, all these people, so, you know, I mean what I'm doing here, God knows, you know, I'm just yeah. and, uh, and he's, he's worked all over the world, he's even driven a snowplow in Trinidad. <laughs> trombone is a wonderful Mr. Martin Vesey. A lot, of you from, uh, a lot of you from Worcestershire know Martin very well because he plays every Tuesday night at the, the what's it, the Fox and the Hounds at Lawsley with the Pedido Street. And, but he's also, he's played in stacks of top people all around various festivals all around the UK. Uh, the only thing that restricts him, he's got a proper job at the moment. So, uh, <laughs> Well, there we are. I mean, I used to have a proper job, and then, I, you know, when I retired, I, I'm suddenly a professional musician because I've got nothing else to do here. <laughs> so there we are. And Martin is a true musician. He can listen to the William Till Overture without thinking of the Lone Ranger. <laughs> so, so there you are. And on, and on piano, we've got the fantastic Roger Healy. 
Roger, Roger's been playing alongside me for about the last 14 years, I think, and uh, wonderful pianist. He can play any tune in any key, blindfolded if you want him to. And uh, he'll do bird impressions if you ask him to. He'd, he'll go outside and eat worms and crap on a statue for you if you want. Anything like that. And, and on. And on double bass, the fantastic Mr. Len Thwaites. Len runs his own jazz club every other uh, Sunday at Malvern, so if you live locally, don't miss uh, this great club. And uh, also, I mean, he used to play years ago with people like Terry Lightfoot, Bob Wallace, and all the legends of the British trad scene and Monty Sunshine and all that sort of thing. Hi, so, Pete Allen. Hey, Pete Allen, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course, who have I missed? Oh, yes, he's my mate Ken at the back. Ken Wright on the drums. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff being on the in the papers because the Rolling Stones did Glastonbury, Glastonbury last night and they were saying they've been together 50 years. Well, Ken and me have been playing together since 1961. So there you are. And, uh, and Ken used to play with the Apex Jazz Band in the late 50s and the Blue Blood Jazz Men at Starport Boat Club every Saturday night. And then he went off to join a rock and roll group and... Uh, he, uh, uh, and the rock and roll group became Clifford T. Ward and Ken was on uh, Cliff's first five albums. Uh, so when you listen to Cliff Ward, you hear, all, you hear Ken playing the drums in the background. And he, he sort of, he, he, he comes from Kidderminster and he, he went down to live in London and he did all these sessions with great artists, Cathy Stobart, Bill Lesage and Bridges and John's albums. Uh, and he, as some of you know, he's been, on, he's, uh, he's been on a session with Elton John. That's a music session, of course. And, uh, and, and he's also... He's also into Greek philosophy, and he, he likes looking up his Aristotle. And, 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 Good job, we're fresh. <laughs> and, and those of you that don't know me, my name's Bert Pegg, and I come from a little fishing village called Cradley Heath. And, uh, and uh, just the other side of the Afghan border, you know. <laughs> and uh, and uh, I mean, my only claim to fame, I used to play guitar with the Everly Brothers. That's not the Everly Brothers from America, but the Everly Brothers from Crazy East. <laughs> One's heavily into drink and the other's heavily into drugs. <laughs> and, and, that, uh, and, that, um, and that wonderful black country rhythm and blues singer, Bo Dudley. <laughs> so there we are. And, and I want you to know, I've just, I'm very delighted and very proud to say I've just signed a contract, ladies and gentlemen, with Granada Television. Yeah. And they said, if I don't keep up the payments, they'll fix it back up. <laughs> so there you are, now we're going to do this. little number. This was top of the charts recently. 1925. Uh, and it was recorded by Gene Austin. Not Gene Autry. Gene Austin. Yes sir, that's my baby. One sir, I'll come in on a bit. We just had a rehearsal on the stage. Oh, my tempo, yeah. Who's that coming down to meet me here? Who's that you know who I mean? Pretty to I've ever seen. I can tell her miles away from here. Oh yes, sir, that's my baby, no sir. I don't mean maybe yes, sir. That's my baby now. Yes, ma'am, we've decided, oh ma'am, we're excited. 
invited, yes, ma'am. You're invited now. Oh, by the way, by the way, when we reach the preacher, I said, we're feeling, yes, sir. That's my baby, no, sir. I don't mean maybe, yes, sir. That's my baby now. Which is only 
two pounds 99 a head, three course meal, really beautiful. Nouvelle cuisine. And my mate Keith went to pay the bill, and I said, I'll just go and congratulate the chef. So I went into the kitchen to, to congratulate the chef. Of course, in Craigie, they don't wear big white gowns, they wear boiler suits, you know, because it's an industrial town. And, I, and just as I was going to, just as I was going to say to the chef how great the meal was, he got his apple tart, and he got his false teeth out, and he was going all the way around the edge, making the serrations around it, you know. And I said, bloody hell, mate. I said, haven't you got a tool for that? He said, yes. He said, well, I use that for the donuts to be able to. <laughs> uh, <coughs> Could I don't just do this, you know? I just don't play with a jazz band. I mean, I'm, I'm in local operatic societies, you know? That's right, I am. I, I, we, we did the pantomime last year. We did, uh, I took the part of Dick in Dick Whittington. And my missus said they couldn't have found a better Dick in the whole world. And, they, so, so, uh, and she said, when she came to see, she said, after she saw me in those red tights, she swore she'd never again touch a greenhouse tomato. <laughs> and I'm also in the... I'm also in the Hale Zoen Bigamist Operatic Society. And we're just rehearsing for Seven Brides for Two Brothers at the moment. So, so we're looking forward to that as well. And also, I mean, in Craig Heath, where I live, I'm sorry about this, Pete, you're not used to this sort of thing, are you? No. He's, used, he's used to playing jazz, you know, but instead of talking. But, but I mean, another funny thing, I mean, in, I, did, I, I was looking in the Express and Star, the local Craig Heath Express and Star the other night, and, and, uh, I mean, I'm 71 now, so I always look in the obituary columns, you know. <laughs> and they, they all die in alphabetical order, by us, you know. Thank you. It's incredible. It's incredible. And the, the height of confusion, the height of confusion in Craig Lee is, is Father's Day. <laughs> Some of you heard this one before, but there was this, I was walking down Craig Heath High Street and there was this, this girl leaning against the wall eating a fish and chips next to the fish and chip shop. Eating a fish and chips with the knickers around her ankles. And I said, what you got your knickers around your ankles for? And she said, oh, has he gone? Like with, you know, I mean, I, I mentioned before to somebody that we've had, because we have mass immigration, haven't we, in this country now, there's five times as many people come in and as leaving. And we're getting very overcrowded. And Craig Heath, I used to know everybody when I was a kid, but they're all different now. There's blokes coming from Pakistan, India, China, uh, Caribbean, Romania, Czech Republic, Poland, you name it, they're, in, they're all in. But everybody gets on with each other in Craig Heath. It's just that we can't pronounce the names, you know. And there's, there were these two girls walking up Craig Heath High Street, and the one says to her mate, she says, I think I'm pregnant. And her mate says, well, have you had a checkup? She said, no, she said, I think it was a bloke from Dudley, to be honest. <laughs> and, and a mate of mine, a mate of mine, Frank, we're going to, we're doing, we're going to play something a bit. This mate of mine, Frank, this mate of mine, Frank, he's, been, he's had a job for the last 40 years, 45 years, cleaning out the toilets in Cradley. And he cleaned out the one in Maple Tree Lane, the one in Lower High Street, and the one in Upper High Street. And uh, he's been doing it for 40 years, and he's come up to retirement, and the, the Dudley Council sent the mayor down to give him an award with a lot of other council employees that are retiring, you see, at age 65. And uh, while he was waiting in the queue for his little medal or his, uh, his uh, gold watch, uh, the deputy mayor was next to Frank and he says, Frank, he said, I bet you've seen some changes, haven't you, over the years, cleaning the toilets out? He said, oh, bloody hell. He said, it's terrible, he says, today. He said, years ago, it was lovely. He said, well, terrible today. He said, you get these kids, they come in there and do this disgusting graffiti all over the walls. It's terrible. I have to clean it all off. He says, and they, they come in, these kids come in, a bunch of them, and they're, they're on these drugs, and they're injecting themselves with all these drugs, and that is, it's terrible, he says, there's no respect at all today. He said, and you get these, a couple of them go into a cubicle for half an hour, he says, God knows what they're getting up to. And he said, I'll tell you what, he said, when the blood comes in here these days, and goes into the cubicle and does his business, it's like a breath of fresh air. <laughs>
We're gonna do we're gonna do a nice little ballad now.
bit frightening. <laughs> but you've just had a boogie band, so you'll be used to it by now. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Uh, we're going to do something. This, I mean, we've been playing all twenties and thirties stuff, but we're going to play something from the sixties now. So we're getting get a bit of a nosebleed here. <laughs> right. So this one is called. This one is called. You never can tell.
old folks were so well. You could see that the air did truly love the Mademoiselle. And now the young man sure and now I've got to run the top of there. Shut up these steady old folks, he goes to show you never can. We go to show you never can. Tell a bitch, tell your folks. We go to show you never can.